this is part two and part two is unity uh, the first time you after you install unity you will probably have something like this when you open it up first of all you lock yourself in on, on, your, on your account and um, remember the user data and once you're locked in you will I don't think you will have anything right here so what you want to do is click on new and you call that MMD unity or unity upload something like that it will be saved in your documents so if you call it call your blender folder MMD blender and this one I mean the unity they will be under each other this is like for me it's more convenient so just call it whatever you want and you cr click on create and once you created your new project you will have something like this actually it will look like this for you for yeah as you could see already first thing you would want is disable the skybox up here the little Thing, and it will look darker uh, for me it looks better so first thing to do is go in your desktop and go into the folder that I included in the description and there will be the VRChat SDK you want to What's the name? you want to just either drag it in like this or you simply double click it it will prepare the package and once it's done preparing it will ask you what you want to import you want to import everything so you just click on import and you wait until it's done so once the SDK is done you just um, put the shaders in now the cubes unity shaders this is a file so you will have to drag it in like this and once that is done you're pretty much ready to upload but I have some extra tools that I use for and you will probably want to use them in the future too so muscle animator it's this is really good for gestures so in, uh, for example you show a peace sign with your hands and you will smile you know with your face and this is a great tool to work on something like that so you're just gonna drag this one too you can drag it right now and then just use in the future or you can just not drag it in at all if you don't want it after the muscle animator you can use the dynamic bones dynamic bones is something you want to use in the future too it's like moving hair moving skirts whatever just your so that your bones are not stiff you know dynamic bones makes sense just double click that and wait for it once that is done you will have five folders like me maybe you have more or less but uh, pretty sure you should have the exact amount like me so what you want to do is whenever you start work this was uh, just like in blender a one-time thing so you don't have to do that every single time right now this is the first step in unity is create a new folder with the avatar name that you want to work on my avatar name is Q and every time you make a new avatar you just make a new folder so everything keep, uh, is sorted you know and when you're lost you just type in something like this and you will find your folder and boom easy go into your folder that you created and you create a new folder called textures once that is done you do another one and that is called materials once again this is my way there's a lot of other ways but I think this one is the simplest and I think many people do it like this once you created these two folders you want to go into your folder where you saved your model for me it was uh, if you followed all the ways that I did you go into MMD Blender and your, your documents and Q what you want to do now is ex uh, import all the textures so everything that looks like a texture, like a PNG or BMP file, you want to import. But I, actually I think BMP is not important, so just um, import all the textures like face and TGA. TGA are the most important ones. If you put in too many, that's actually not um, bad, or at least 
most of the times it won't cause any problems. So just select the textures, drag them into textures. Once they're in here, you want to import your FBX. This one is the FBX. As soon as your model is in, you can drag it in here. You can also drag it in here, but as you can see, it will just be placed somewhere where the mouse is. So yeah, this is the easy way. Just drag it into the list. You can see that um, our model is very cold and dark and um, doesn't have much color in it. So what you want to do is go into the... Uh, you want to extract the materials first. So you open this little thing up here, select the materials, the little footballs or whatever you want to call them. And once you have all your materials, you click right click and extract from prefab. We have a folder created right here called materials. You select that one and all of the materials will be dragged over to this folder. Once that is done, you click double click on materials, you see all your materials and you, if nothing is selected on rendering mode, you will select opaque. If nothing is selected, it will be like transparent, something like, it will look something like this at the beginning. So you just click on opaque and up here you click on shader and you want to use this one. Keep paradox flat lit tune. You see, way more color, way brighter, way more anime, way more nice. So, sometimes the materials are just blank um, colors. So just imagine this one being completely black, and if you want to change the color, you click right here and, you know, select something like this. Once you apply the shaders, you want to put an outline mount right here. Click on the drag out and click on tinted. Width will be zero. Because if you don't do that, sometimes the double sided textures will be transparent. For example, your code will be only visible from this side and it will be invisible from this side. Once you're done with your materials, you just want to go back into your folder. You want to click on your model and you want to click on rig. Right here in the animation type you will select humanoid, click on apply. Once it has been applied, sometimes it will say some errors and then you can open something here. But right now we don't have any errors. And if there are errors, um, it will probably be, they will, they will probably be easy enough to fix. You click on configure, you save the scene. If you haven't done so already, you just save the scene every time in, inside of your folder. You know, assets queue, assets queue, and you will save the scene right here. Let's call it queue scene. There it is. And once you're in here, you can scroll in if you like. And the first step you want to look out for is that upper chest is blank. You don't need toes as well. You can keep them but it will probably be better if you remove them. Left leg, left knee, left ankle. This is most of the time the order. Next step is head and it always puts uh, a jawbone. But you actually don't need a jawbone. Just remove it. I've been told to remove it, so you're just gonna do it as well. You click on done once you're finished click on apply. Once you apply that, you want to add a component called avatar descriptor. You just type in avatar and there will be the avatar descriptor. If you don't have the VRChat SDK, you will not uh, see the descriptor, so you will have to install that if you haven't done so already. And first thing, view position. You really gotta experiment with that. Uh, just change the numbers a little bit. Like that, between the eyes, a little bit under, and, and near the mouth, and um, that's it. If you have a female, you will select this one. I am male. This avatar is male. I'll keep it on male. Lip sync. Um, you don't click on auto select. You click on Visine blend shape, and you 
open the drag menu up here and drag the body right here. And then you select the Visims. You will see Visim cell. Simply click on the drag out and search for cell right here. It's sorted by alphabetic order, so A, B, C, D, you know. Just try to find it every single time. Once you've done that, you can drag this up again. And you're basically done. We are chat SDK up here. Settings to log in. I'm logged in already, Rafinski. Um, you just type in your VRChat data. Make sure you have the VRChat account and don't use your Steam account on uh, VRChat. So, show build control panel. Yeah, if it says something like that, just check again that everything is fine. And once you've done it, build publish. Something like this will pop up. Just type in your name, Q, or call it whatever you want. Check this little thing and you're ready to upload. If you want to change your image, you can click up here on the scene, select the camera and just position it however you like it. You can change the color of the background right here. Change it to something that fits your clothes or something, you know. Have some kind of taste. And you click back on game up here. See the background is good and you click on upload. That was my tutorial. I hope uh, it could help some people. I hope it's not too long. Once again, as I always say, my ways are not the best ways. Probably not. And there's a lot of different ways. If you have any tips, feel free to comment on the video or add me on Discord if you have questions that are not uh, answered in this video. I will put my Discord in the description. And I'll see you in the next video. Have fun working on your models. Bye bye.